Hello guys, welcome back to the Dudgies Family Vlog. It's Sunday afternoon. We just had dinner and we're going for a walk. Well, wheels some of us are walking, wheels. some of us got wheels. Welcome home, Kai. Welcome home, Kai. Hiya. Hiya. Back Hiya. from uh, France. Bonjour. And we got the Bonjour. handsome Jordan and a lovely Chanel joining us too. Merci. I'm finding a struggle to walk, guys, because I've just had a big fat dinner. So please Excuse bear me. with me. <laughs> I don't think you should have come down here with Healy's on. Uh, Dad, <laughs> Come on, mate. Road hogs. Come on. Come on. He done it. It's surprising how steep a hill it'll go up, innit? <laughs> we see her rolling. <laughs> station okay so it all started in 1994 that's when they started to close Coast Guard stations down for the first time and the first one to go was at the Bass Point the Lizard in Cornwall and as you can read shortly afterwards <coughs> some fishermen lost their lives so they thought what can we do we have a disused uh, building hence National Coast Watch was born we're not Coast Guards but we work with the Coast Guards we still got Coast Guards in Barry but they work off a bleeper. They haven't obviously they haven't got um, a, a place. You know. So, Coast Watch, um, the Welsh Assembly and the local council did it up to how she looks today. From that, for National Coast Watch, these are all. That's the very first one. These are all ex Coast Guard stations over the country that have been closed that National Coast Watch has taken over. Still going on today, as they just closed the one at Port Cole. I don't know if you've ever seen the one in Port Cole. Mm. Well, they just closed that one. Hence, Coast Watch has just reopened it now. You've got to get the volunteers. The volunteers are going to be trained, as I'll explain as we go on. And then you've got to get enough to form a crew to, to crew the station. So, this is us. This is the binoculars, which we, on a clear day, we can see people walking in Panathia, that's how strong they are. Good. So, we spot it, we plot it, this is the person plotting it, that's an expensive one. We then report to our nearest man's Coast Guard station, which is Milford Haven. Now, I'm saying that, no one's going to lose their life, it's a split second to get hold of them. Do you see what I mean? We cannot call out response teams, Milford Haven have to do that, okay? But we, as I explained, that way, we will work with them. The Coast Guards will come out in Barry, we've still got them, Panath and so forth, but as I say, they do not have uh, a station anymore. So they would. If you can see on here, because it started on this coast, basically, there's more, these are all Coast Watch stations, and they're just starting on Wales now. These, these have got been taken over. So this has got to be updated for Swansea and Port Court because they just closed them. So we're starting now in Wales. Hopefully we'll get Swansea, but we don't know yet. I mean, that is a beautiful place. I've been on, on um, courses down there. Okay. Fantastic. So, I don't know anything about charts. Anybody? I didn't. No. Okay. So you may think we're here because this is the way the chart goes. Yeah. But we always work from the north, okay? Right. So we're up here, right oh, on the right. end of here. This is where we are, right? This very minute in time, okay? So I've already got across there. Yes, my head. That's right. That's to the right. Yeah. 
and westerns to the left, okay? Right. Which we can only see to the, from the left up to far as uh, Sunny Island, really. We can't go around the corner visually, right. you know? Yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> if we see an incident, we mark it with a cross, circle that cross, then manually, with a Portland plotter, we take the longitude, this is from our view, okay? Longitudes, latitudes, nautical miles, and a bearing. That's the information we phone through to Milford Haven. They then come on, on board, and you might think, okay, we can just turn around now, and we can follow it all on the computers, we don't need to do any of this work, because it's all on the computer. But, no, it's not that simple. <laughs> Every six minutes, we have to rechart this incident, because of the current, Sorry, whatever, yeah. it'll move, okay? So we'll need to do it every six minutes wow. to know exactly where this is. If the, I've been five years and not a computer hasn't gone down. But if a computer goes down, the only people that can do it is us. Yeah. In our view, that's from my head to just a pass any sunny island. On saying that, anything that moves, if it's a commercial ship, then we'll know the name of it where it's been, where it's going, what it's carrying off our computers. If we don't, we need to know why, if you're not giving us any info. Oh, right. If it's a yacht, or oh. even if it's 20, if it's a regatta, we have to log every individual yacht. So we put the size of the hull, the colour, the sail number, how many people on board, and do they all have life jackets on? And you'll be surprised what goes on. All that we log. Anybody that was playing on there on a canoe, waterboard, anything, anybody that's on that water that we see, we log it, God forbid, that we need to use that information mm -hmm. as there's an incident. So, you know, they wave to us and everything, you know, even the fishermen, we log it all, just, just in case. Yeah. So that Better we to be know. safe. Yeah. yeah. Is this wicked in there? Mind, haven't they? Yeah. Fan, dabby, dozy. It's so windy here, look. But I love it. I love it, I love it. How are we doing then, babes? Whoa. In a race. Hold on, I'm okay, any marks? Get set. Go. Okay, who's a winner? Okay. Any marks? Get set. All guys off. Kai's off. Oh, Princess is down. Kai's catching. Kai's gaining. Who's going to do it? Who's going to be the first one to high five me? No, you <laughs> oh, Kai. You didn't high five. No, she ran. Kai, it was your, your idea to do the high five and you, you missed me. Sasha said that. Oh, it was a draw then. <laughs> You didn't high five, mate. It was the first one to high five dad. You were the one who said first one to high five dad and you went straight past me. <laughs> oh, well done, you two, anyway. Dad, I think this would fit in your pocket. This little jumper would fit in that big pocket. Do you think? Yeah. Um, why don't you just tie it around your waist like I did?
See that then, guys. That poor woman ran for her life. They were eating their chips on the beach. <laughs> and like seagulls coming to attack, she ran, left her handbag, everything. Oh, I love her. They're a nightmare, mind these seagulls, they can be. Always eat indoors, that's my suggestion. Come on, Kai. Guys, someone's legs are aching. <laughs> you okay back there? No. <laughs> no? You're fine. Anyone want a free smack at a bat? Free smack? No, you want a free smack? George, you want a free smack? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's scary. That's scary. It's Princess Sports Day this week and she wants to practice the sack race and the egg and spoon race. So here we go, let's have a look. Okay. Right, well, come on eh? Hey Max! Get set! Go! Whoa! Oh, okay. Kai's feet came through. <laughs> That's cheating, yeah. Hey, they're nice pair of trousers. Shorts. Right, go on and have another go, babe, since your sack race. Oh, you're good! Wow, that's amazing. On your max. Oh, that's very nice, that is, mate. Suits you. Right. Those are officially our bonkers. Mate, looks really nice, that too. Yeah, it's Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should have thought of that. You could have the plants. Yeah. Really nice. Guys, and it's waterproof, waterproof mine. Yeah, that's right, it's waterproof. Right, but she's still at it. Yeah. Let's see where you go. Hey, hey, Sponsored Hi. by SportsDirect.com. Wow, six. <laughs> six point five. Okay. Three. You are going to end up on your butt. Two. Well, one, go. go. What did she get? What did she get? 8.5! Eight point five. Five. You big man! Guy's turn. Right, come on then, mate. What, what's, the, what's the time to beat? 6. 6.5. 6.5 to beat, Guy. I'm on the stopwatch. Go! Wow, five. 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 Well done, mate. I won. I won. I won. I won. Okay, you win. You win the gold medal, mate. Yeah, I won. Gold medal. I won. <laughs> right, next up now is the egg and spoon race. Look at these. On your marks, get set. False start. I didn't say go. Come on. I'm the fat. No the cheating. <laughs> No, you just got to stop. Stop, pick it up, but don't keep walking when it's not on the spoon. Yeah. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> wow! Wow! Yes. That's amazing! Guys, I'm just going to say, it seems a little bit unfair. She's got less to go. Oh, God. <laughs> Honestly, you'll always find an excuse. Right, so Princess, well five. done. You've done amazing. Well done. On that side. Right, round two. On your max. Get set. <laughs> Come on, back to the start. On your max. Get set. No cheating. Come on. I'm not going to cheat. I'd rather lose than be a, a cheat. On your max. Get set. Go. Oh, Kai was the winner that time. I came second. No, you dropped. Yeah. No, you dropped yours, babes. So, 
So he's supposed to take his spoon to the finish line and, and your egg. Right, uh, last, last go now. Any marks? Get set. No dropping eggs on heads because they're pebbles and they hurt. Go! Kai's a winner. <laughs> Kai, well done, mate. Kai's a winner. Right, guys, that's it from us for today. Okay, love? Yes. A nice weekend. day. Lovely weekend, absolutely. Shh, be quiet. Princess is asleep. Look. Ah! Gee whiz! Frighten us half to death. <laughs> right then, guys. Don't get lost to squashed, and we will speak more. We'll hear you more soon. <laughs> Bye! Bye. Bye.